Hey, Sun here. I'm a privacy and a scooter researcher and you're watching the Privacy Guides. Uh, you may have noticed that I haven't published in a million years yet again. Sorry about that. Lots has been happening over the past year. Superbact has been evolving quite a bit. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you guys about a computer that I purchased in the context of doing some R&D for Superbact operators, which are Superbact certified attorneys and notaries who would have a super hardened computer on premise to run Superbact. So, this computer here is the latest ThinkPad X1 Carbon X1 Carbon Gen 12. Um, and it's a really nice computer. Uh, really big caveat for those of you who are interested in running Ubuntu or Superbact OS on this. The webcam does not work. There are no drivers for Ubuntu, which is really sad because apparently this webcam should really be amazing uh, and have a really high resolution, which would allow to scan really dense QR codes. But um, it did have one very interesting feature, which is that this screen has some kind of built-in privacy filter, which means that at the toggle of a switch on the keyboard, you can essentially enable the feature. And then when you're looking at the screen from about 45 degrees, um, it becomes way harder to read what's on it. When I discovered that feature about a year ago, I was super pumped. I bought a computer and ran a few experiments. Shout out to Sophie who helped me shoot some B-roll downtown. I'll include some of this in this episode. It's the same panel essentially. So, uh, But I did go out today and shoot some tests on this specific machine. All right, so it's really hard to kind of show on camera here. So you're gonna have to kind of trust my uh, instinct here, what I'm saying. but. Essentially, when I'm looking at it on the side like this, uh, I don't see nothing on the screen, but as I'm right here, I can. So this is like, I'd say like 20 degrees, 30 degrees, but as I start going to 45 degrees, it's impossible to read. So it's kind of interesting though, how in the public domain like this, uh, it could give you some privacy, but obviously if someone is kind of looking at you from over your shoulder, it's totally useless. Um, I wanted to talk about it because the idea of having a privacy filter on the computer is really appealing. Let's say you're in the subway, in a train, transiting from you know, point A to point B. You might not like the idea, or in a plane, you might not like the idea that someone you know, on the side can actually see what's going on <laughs> on, on your screen. Uh, now, bear in mind that when you type your passwords in public, someone could very well be filming what's happening with a telephoto lens and snitch it, especially if you're an executive. I see people at large conferences typing out their passwords out there in the field, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, but putting that aside, let's say it's really about confidential data on the screen. Can these types of filters really help? Um, my TLDR is no. They do work in a very interesting way but the caveat is that it kind of is misleading. It misleads the user to think that they have privacy in the first place. If I'm standing in front of the computer and someone is right here over my shoulder, kind of 30 degrees, they can still read what's on the screen. In some specific conditions, even if you're past 45 degrees with a telephoto lens, you can still see what's on the screen. Um, is this better than nothing? if the user is very mindful about the fact that there really isn't privacy out there in the wild, yes, it is quite interesting. If you have some sophisticated employees or if yourself are sophisticated in the context of OPSEC, operational security, and you're very mindful of this, yes, odds are that it's better than not having it. But for anyone out there that might not be as mindful as us, I think it's very misleading. I was contemplating this technology in the context of super backed operators so that it's harder for cameras on-prem to see what's going on on the screen when someone types their mnemonic, for instance. But again, they are typing in on the keyboard, so the keyboard could definitely be captured by a telephoto lens. Um, so it's really, really way better to use uh, essentially a thermal blanket. Now, I know you guys, are gonna find me crazy. And if you're asking yourselves, uh, do I do this in public? Yes. So what you really should be doing if you need privacy, and that includes typing your credentials when you're in the plane, is to use a thermal blanket. Now, 
using a thermal blanket, obviously no one, no one can see what's going on. Uh, even using an infrared camera. This is what people will be using on premise uh, in the context of using Superbact with Superbact operators. Uh, but I did want to share this because I know before purchasing this and having to send it back tomorrow, I kind of would have liked to see a video like this one. That's why I made it. So by the way, I should be back shortly. I am super excited to have a little bit more time now and to be able to start creating content again. I'm also very excited about vlogging for some reason. So if you want to see more vlog type content, let me know down there in the comments. And if you've had experience with this monitor, please share your experience to others using comments. So I'll see you soon. Sorry for not publishing for over a year. I've been very busy on Superbacked. I'll put links down there in the description. And yeah, have an amazing day. Bye.